Welcome to WhiskeyPreacher.com. I'm your host, Phil Shepard, better known as the Whiskey Preacher, and I've entitled this vidcast, The Great Divide. I was going to do something completely different today from my vidcast, but I was listening to a radio show that really augmented what I wanted to talk about today. I was listening to the Diane Reem show on NPR, and yes, I become that dude who listens to NPR. Used to make fun of people like myself all the time. In fact, I still make fun of myself, but I digress because I'm always digressing. And on the Diane Reem show this morning, back to our program, by the way, she was talking about the topic of abortion. Actually, she was having a debate on her radio show on opposing sides of the issue of abortion. And no, we're not going to be talking about abortion today, but if that's something that you would like to have a conversation here on The Whiskey Preacher about, just let me know and we can have that dialogue sometime. But today is not that day. One of the points, however, was made during the debate that there has to be, with the history of co-pollinating, if I can use that term, religion and the state. They, they were pushing for the separation of the depollinization of church and state and, and keeping them separate. Uh, some of folks call it the debate of separation of church and state. And I would have to agree with that person's point in the debate that knowing the history of when the religious institution or any re religious institution, um, whether it be Christian or, um, well, let's just stick to Christianity right now, since that's the predominant faith at the moment here in the United States. That's the predominant religion that seems to wanting to cross-pollinate itself into politics. And I think to a certain degree it has. I mean, we, we look at what some call the religious right and their backing of the Tea Party and the uh, the very conservative Republicans, and, and which is fine. I mean, I have friends of mine that are staunch Republicans, and they, even part of the Tea Party. Uh, I personally am not, but I I'm completely fine with people choosing what they they want to do with that. Again, that's not the purpose of this vidcast. The purpose of this vidcast is to talk about should religious institutions or religious movements be involved in politics? Should there be the great divide between those two ideas? Should there be politics over here and religion over here? And I realize that it's not that simple of an answer, that you're going to have people of faith that are going to be in politics. And I get that. However, should the religious institutions be able to dictate what our politics is and vice versa? I, I know that I don't want uh, the government to tell me how I should practice my religious beliefs. And, and I may be alone in this. However, I know that there is another side to this equation that what some would call the liberal left have just as much influence on politics as the religious right um, in, in very different ways uh, but but they're both there and uh, I'm not I'm not claiming to be the liberal left some would call me that or I'm not c calling myself the religious right I don't think anybody would call me that but either one of these I don't know if I'm necessarily comfortable with them influencing per se, our politics. I, I think there has to be somewhat of a separation. And, and I'm not one person to adhere to compartmentalization of life in general. So I, again, I know that that's not a simple question to ask or a simple task to create. I think that there has to be somewhat of a separation. And, and so I want to throw it out to you um, the folks who are going to be watching this vidcast or listening to it, I would love to hear your comments. Whether you are the liberal left or the religious right or neither, somewhere in between, I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Should there be a separation between church and state? And if so, uh, why? Um, or is there a certain degree of 
ambiguity that's allowed within the cross-pollinization of politics and religion. You can follow me on Twitter at Phil Shepherd and hit the hashtag pound sign whiskey preacher to continue this conversation or you can find me on Facebook. Uh, my Facebook page is whiskey preacher. Like my page if you don't mind and continue the conversation there or feel free to leave comments in the section below here and don't forget the whiskey updates. I just started a newsletter that's going to have exclusive interviews, podcasts, vidcasts. They're only released within the whiskey updates. So you can register for them right up here. Thanks again for tuning in to whiskeypreacher.com. And I can't wait to read and dialogue with your comments. Have a good day.